Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned in. You know, a lot of uh, updates, there is no much updates now. Everywhere is silent, everywhere is great silent. But I want you to listen to this uh, update, this broadcast by CEO of Onge Olivia, Mr. Onge Olivia. You know, he's always hyping Ken. He's always Ken's uh, man, right hand man. So just listen to what he has to say. If we were excuse Ken, if he would say the truth, you know, although the reality is done on him now, so I just beg your pardon. Bear with the with the audio. I don't know the recording was not too too good. So guys, see at the end. See at the end. There's certain concerns in the grant ecosystem today. A way that there is a graveyard silence in the grant ecosystem. No update has taken place by the grant handlers. No information has been passed across to the subscribers of the grant in the ecosystem, thereby causing panic and worry by grant subscribers. Currently, so many subscribers are already coming to our official Telegram platform to seek for updates, aware that these updates always keep our subscribers confident and alive. We won't hesitate to publish uh, updated information to keep you connected to or abreast of realities in the grant ecosystem whenever home julivia tv address the ecosystem is because we have facts that you need to hear or arm yourself with to guide your decisions and expectations in the uh, days ahead of you we won't come outside to publish unverified information even those information that we publish is denied that doesn't imply there are not realities in the ecosystem in today's session we will address the current reason for the delay of disbursement or those activities queued up in this week ahead of disbursement of UAAG grant you might have been aware of the arrangement that was made toward disbursement of UA Energy Grants since last week. You might equally be in a way that there were issues in related to the uh, status of the country director to disburse the UA Energy Grant. Across the WhatsApps and Telegram groups were information that the country director of the UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama, wasn't uh, the country director anymore, that he has been replaced by one pastor, John Oloye, and the likes as deputies. In the same week, we later hear another uh, feedback news that the country director of the UAAG has been restored and he remained there. They think that the country director to disperse the grant. So many issues actually came up, and those issues I'm excited to inform you that well, they were all resolved among the stakeholders, among the AGPGN, among the UAAG and other stakeholders that are facilitating this grant. Uh, before Thursday and Friday last week, all those conflicts were officially resolved through the intervention of uh, forces from the, to the masses to be rest assured that there is no conflict amongst the grant handlers. It's undisputed fact that the money or disbursement is not delayed by government authorities. Disbursement is delayed by the activities of the grant handlers themselves, by the activities of the stakeholders that are helping to facilitate disbursement of this grant. If they are placing the interest of the masses ahead of their own interests, disbursement will have taken place before the end of March 2021. We are here in April and disbursement is still lingering. Currently, we are aware of uh, certain groups or stakeholders or elders in the ecosystem that are fighting to ensure there is no one bundle. The bundle should be improved. Their intent is to ensure bundles is improved from 1 to 5 or 10 to themselves, not to the entire CEOs, because they are aware that bundles can't go around in the number of 5 or 10 to the over 6,000 or 8,000 NGOs in the ecosystem. So why should these 
body of uh, stakeholders or elders be seeking for the increment of the bundles to more than five or ten at the moment when they are aware that it is an effort in fertility even if more bundles will be allocated to this audience of uh, stakeholders or elders it can't go around to the ngo ceos so why use your own personal or cabal aspirations to delay disbursement of the grants that the masses are desperately anticipating in their accounts this is one of those factors that are currently creating delays we know that there are other administrative factors but the repeated adjustment of data the adjustment or harmonization of documents or data of the stakeholder a stakeholder b stakeholder c too many stakeholders interest will further delay disbursement of this grant to us the masses we wish that the one bundle should be disbursed to everyone there can always be a second round disbursement to those concerned let the one bundle that has been already allocated to all parties the ngo ceos the stakeholders the grant handler be disbursed uh, be informed that even the grant handler are being allocated to just a bundle it's important we all know that even the grant handler the hpgn the uaag the think tank all our stakeholders are being disbursed to just one bundle including the one bundle let disbursement take place hence those who loan money to uh, facilitate or sponsor this grant activity can then pay back their loan and stop accruing full interest rates to themselves hence those who seek the money to embark on medical uh, treatment or uh, any other business activity should use the money and start leading their lives forward the more we fight the policies of the government, the more they delay, the longer the delay of disbursement. Disbursement was scheduled to take place on Tuesday, immediately after the resumption of the Easter holiday on Monday. That was yesterday, and disbursement should have taken place today again. But I sense that the current reason for delay why money has not been dropped into the account of the NGO CEOs is because of other administrative protocols which is unconnected to sorting of duplications in the app few weeks ago we were informed that certain software has been deployed to, to sort those bvn who are used in registering for more than 10 or 20 ngos during that uh, last month's data sorting activity the ngos that are onboarding more than uh, 10 or 15 NGOs on their award BVN were sorted out. But currently, there is another round of duplications that are dictated. The, now that the data from different stakeholders are being harmonized for disbursement, is another round of duplication detected in this data. Some NGOs in this ecosystem have subscribed for this same grant with parties A and equally still subscribe using their same NGO with party B. Now that the data are being merged or harmonized together, the same NGO names are appearing multiple times and this calls for another round of sorting of these duplications all to ensure no NGO receive disbursement more than once with a given NGO name. For those that are still wondering why there is no disbursement yesterday or today as was expected as long as these data are not harmonized and sorted the duplications detected by the government team will not bring about disbursement no government institution that are saddled with the responsibility of overseeing perfect transparent and incorruptible disbursement will allow disbursement to take place with this palpable or detected duplications of NGO names by the entire schedule. But the good news is that as we are uh, recording this video, the committee are engaging in sorting of this duplicate in the schedule to present to the bank for disbursement. 
the alert can drop in the account even tonight or any moment from tomorrow till Friday this week. This week is the week of disbursement, no doubt. The money is accessible by the grant handler. That is a good news and that is one of the factors that should give you confidence while waiting patiently for this grant. So the delay is not caused by the government not releasing on. The delay is not caused by stakeholders in conflict with each other. The delay is purely administrative and again uh, due to interest in an attempt to ensure certain people earn more bundles than were allocated. That is why we are using this session again to call on those that are seeking for increment in bundles to desist. At least they can seek for such after the first round of uh, disbursement. Let disbursement take place to this one bundle first for those committee that are saddled with the responsibility of assorting duplications in NGO names and account details to speed up, walk around the clock to ensure this data is sorted in the shortest time possible for disbursement to start this week. The expectations, the arrangement by the government committee and the grant handler is that accounts will be credited this week, this first week of April. And we trust God that uh, these account details of NGOs will be credited. Don't panic, don't get frustrated on the delay, don't distort your confidence. Disbursement is already a reality. We won't spend all these years, spend all this month and channel our thoughts, channel our prayers, so people are fasting for these grants. We won't do all these things in vain. The interventions of the government authority in this is a testimony and good news to everyone else in the ecosystem. So going forward, by tomorrow we are expecting the MOU. Don't forget that disbursement will not take place without signing of sensitive documents that will guarantee this NGO disbursing this money to you. If this money is disbursed without this document, this agreement sealed between the grant handler and the NGO CEOs, so many grant subscribers will not receive disbursement aware of the demonic nature of humans. So we are expecting this document to be rolled out, if not tonight, tomorrow, for all NGOs to sign speedily. And NGO CEOs should be proactive in this exercise that is coming on any moment from now. Hence, there will be no delay on their own side too. There is a discovery recently, a few days ago, by some certain NGOs that, that their cooperative or their uh, humanitarian account submitted to the UAAG for disbursement is already invalid for money to be transferred to. If you transfer money to such accounts, it shows invalid. That means so many NGOs in the ecosystem will not receive alert even if money is transferred from the bank to their account because their account is not active. A simple way to confirm if your account is active is transfer at least 500 naira to your account to test run the activeness of your account submitted to UAH. Ensure the money is delivered and you receive an alert. Hence, you'll be sure that when money is being transferred, you will receive it. So many NGOs that account is not active will not receive alert. They will start running to Abuja to meet with these authorities to ensure the disbursement is made to their account too. So to avoid those delays that will frustrate your own subscribers, this is the appropriate time to effect transfer to your account. And if you discover that it is invalid, quickly go to your bank tomorrow morning and rectify the reason for the invalidity of your account, which is unconnected to the fact that you have not been using this account since you opened it. You have not transferred money in and out of this account. 
or some of these account officers hastily open the accounts to the NGO CEOs without requesting for the reference, the two or three reference to be submitted to that account. And when the bank headquarters discover incomplete document, they quickly close down or deactivate such accounts from oppression. So this is the time to test one, the activeness of your account before disbursement take you in any moment from now. Besides this, there is an important activity every NGO CEO should carry out at the moment ahead of disbursement. I've seen certain letters circulating in the social media requesting for NGO CEOs to write official letters to their bank intimating them on the process of disbursement, including their NGO bundle data of beneficiaries to the bank. This is not quite important or necessary at the moment. Any NGO can use any bank branch to effect disbursement without necessarily intimating his account officer. Sending an official letter at the moment where disbursement haven't taken place is indirectly exposing you, the CEO, to danger. It's even advice for you not to use your regular bank branch for this disbursement. You can use any of your bank branch in the state to ensure your safety throughout the disbursement process. The most important activity for you to engage in right now is to set up your NGO disbursement template in a bulk payment format. Bulk payment format for bank is quite different from the usual way we set up our template in the WhatsApp groups. Bank doesn't pay starting from the beneficiary name, beneficiary account number or phone number or bank name. That is an incorrect format. So if you are an NGO still retaining that format circulated in the grant ecosystem, this is the right time for you to alter it and prepare it in the official banking schedule for disbursement. The first column of it always starts with the account number, followed by the bank name column, then the beneficiary name in the third column. No phone number is expected. You might have used the other templates to collect your details and share to your beneficiary to confirm the correctness of their details. But this is the time for you to prepare a schedule that you can send either through email to direct your bank to execute transfer even without being there. This is email indemnification activity that will speed up or facilitate disbursement. So many NGOs that are planning to visit the bank counter to effect disbursement will first receive hands from these account officers or uh, cashiers. Some of them will tell you they are tired after they transfer only 200 in a day. But if you are using the email indemnification format, where you send an instruction to your bank to use the data you are presenting to them to this boss. They can effect disbursement to all your beneficiaries within 24 hours. Therefore, it is important you prepare your data in a way the bank can easily disburse to you without further delay. So set up the columns in three. This is the appropriate moment to set up your schedule, your data in an official bank bulk payment format starting with the account number in the first column the bank name in the second column and the beneficiary name in the third column arrange it in that way hence when you present it even in the counter to your bank you will, disbursement can take place seamlessly Another important activity every CEO should embark at the moment is sort out online bank account details in their format or template. OPay, PanPay, Kuda Microfinance Bank, every other microfinance account number should be sorted out in your data and call those beneficiaries to replace them with commercial bank accounts. Aware that digital banks or online banks including microfinance bank doesn't undergo bulk transfers you have to effect transfer to them individually 
except you want to start calling on your bank to transfer to those account numbers after they have failed transactions. Another important activity every NGO should engage in is test running the validity of the account numbers in their schedule. So many account numbers in that 1000 schedule you have is invalid. Some account numbers are incomplete. Some account numbers are tied to the wrong bank name. Some people are maintaining Zend Bank account while they are placing FCMB in the bank name column. Such account is invalid when transaction begins. As a CEO, I know it's going to be stressful. It's time for you to effect transfer, attempt transfer to those accounts and see if it will pop up the beneficiary name you have in your template. Run this one after another. If you pick 200 account numbers to test run on daily basis, within three days you can validate your 1,000 beneficiaries all to ensure that they are in disbursement ready status. It's going to be stressful, but it's worthwhile all to ensure all your beneficiaries will receive disbursement when it is effected. Please note, you are not to actually transfer money to those accounts. You are attempting to transfer money. For example, when you insert the account number and match with the bank name, if the account number is correct, it will bring out the beneficiary name in your template. At that level, you cancel such transaction, knowing that it is a valid account that will receive disbursement. For those that will ask, where will NGO CEO have money to transfer to all these accounts to test that they are all valid or active? No money is to be transferred. Attempting transfer is what I imply. Some grant subscriber will say that engaging in this activity will create further delay. Some will even say, ah, disbursement is not even close if Om Julibia TV is sending this. Please note, money can drop in the accounts of the NGO CEOs today while the process continues. Such account is always uh, placed in lien. The money will be shifted from available balance to ledger balance until when the activity is completed, then it will be lifted for access of the CEOs. To conclude this session, I wish to encourage all grant subscribers to remain steadfast and hopeful of disbursement in this first week of April. Money is available and accessible to the grant handler. It's no more a question of if money has been released to the grant handler. Money is accessible to the grant handler even if they need it right now. All what is pending is harmonization of this data to ensure there is no fraud committed by any faction throughout the disbursement process. All what we need is to pray for the speedy completion of this activity, pray for protection and strength of the officials that are saddled with this responsibility currently. When this activity is completed, disbursement will take place. We are hopeful of disbursement in this first week of April before weekend. It can take place at any moment. I have never given you this sort of assurance. Owing to the feedback we are having, disbursement is possible. It's a reality in this first week. For those who were worried why there is Prolonged silence in the ecosystem. When you observe silence of this nature, understand that there is an administrative activity ongoing between the government committee and the grant handler. Immediately they conclude this activity, disbursement is taking place. Let's continue to pray for the protection of the country director, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama and the All Grant Pressure Group who have been working sleeplessly to ensure disbursement take place. The country director lost his mother a few days ago in a very crucial time, very controversial moment in grant history. We pray for God to strengthen him and guide him throughout this process, hence he should not be distracted or lose concentration 
of the activity at hand. The grant ecosystem stand with him at this moment of grief. He need our prayers and word of encouragement right now. To conclude this session, I wish to encourage all grant subscribers to remain steadfast and hopeful of this disbursement in this first week of April. Let's talk together on Om Jolivia TV. Let's talk together. Jolivia TV, revolutionizing the world. Guys, a lot of analysis was done, a lot of things were said. So just digest it. Later I will come back to break it down because this man says a lot of things. Some are speculative, some are are rumors, some are true. So guys, we'll break it down. See you at the other side. We pray that this resource may come through this month. Bye for now. <laughs>